in today's episode of your leaders are corrupt hypocrites and uh, your news media and social media are run by hypocritical cunts. I bring you a very short sort of summary uh, of a suck-ass subject uh, and and what it means. Uh, because I think it's fucking valuable to, you know, like, bring up the fact that Saudi Arabia has been a problem and it's still a problem under Biden with Biden. Not just because, you know... Trump, and Kushner, and golf. I promise it's so fucking laughable that this is the way things are. Nobody wants to talk about the Saudi gen genocide in Yemen. Nobody wants to talk about the fact that Biden is still sucking them off. Nobody wants to talk about anything other than Trump when it comes to Saudi Arabia. Because, let me just pull up, you know, for a temporary bit here, some of the, uh, some of the headlines that have been popping up lately, eh? So, like, this is how they respond when it's Kushner. Because, like I keep on fucking saying, um... The media and, you know, state, etc., created the Trump boogeyman so that they could just point the finger every single fucking time at Trump and so that they wouldn't have to change a damn thing. They don't have to change fucking shit, right? Because all they have to do is say, hey... Jared Kushner's two billion Saudi check appears even more corrupt than we thought. And like, oh yeah, the U.S. House panel should investigate House of Oversight investigating, uh, you know, <laughs> and this has been happening for so fucking long, right? Probe, it's getting probed. Uh, so, <laughs> but nobody really is asking. Uh, this question, right? What is it? Nobody's actually interested in that. Um, because if they were, then they'd find out that this is in your favorite fucking company now! Yeah, yours. Are you a Democrat who loved the lockdowns? Uh, your company that you relied on took fucking money from Saudi Arabia. At the very fucking least, Uber. I'm not making this up. And so, yeah, fucking Jared Kushner's got some fucking problems taking money from a corrupt and evil government. And, and even worse, uh, he became the bridge... For these people to give money uh, to Israel uh, because basically they weren't part of the Abraham Accords. And he was like, yeah, so if you give me money and I give Israeli companies money, you don't have to break any accords or your official legal rules and you can still profit. So basically, they can continue being bitter enemies while still basically hating the same groups of people and both uh, participating in genocide, and the U.S. government can back both of them. Because that's how it's been for fucking ever, and that's how it still fucking is, even though Jared Kushner's gone! And Biden's here, and this company... This sovereign investment fund, it didn't go away. It's still here too. Right? 
So let's 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 look into this, right? Now, the golf thing I talked about, it already has its fucking uh, Wikipedia entry. Because Live Golf has Saudi investment money. Okay. And it's connected with some people. Okay. And Live Golf was also condemned as another sports washing tool of Saudi Arabia, which is accused of several human rights violations. Yeah, they are. They are accused of human rights violations. So, why does the U.S. keep dealing with them? Oh, right. Because Biden needs to sucker up to people because of the Ukraine situation. Because, like Colbert unironically said, but in a joking fashion that the audience cheered for, you go to the bastion of human rights, Saudi Arabia when you want to get away from human rights violators like Russia. Even though they're both in very similar fucking ethical positions, you're only allowed to bring up Russia. Even though Trump and Biden are both in very similar ethical positions, you're only allowed to bring up Trump and his associates, but not Biden, not his son, not his connections and certainly not what he's been spending money on right isn't that fucking hilarious and 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 just to be clear what has biden been been spending his money on well maybe biden has been spending money on saudi fucking arabia and maybe this is a worse problem in terms of corruption, then two billion to Kushner, in it, just like a little fucking bit. Why is it okay for Biden to give one billion in food security and five billion in arms sales to Saudi Arabia? When it's not okay. For Trump to host a fucking golf tournament. It's fucking stupid. And, and here's the reason I hate it. It's not because I love Trump. It's because I hate Trump, but I don't hate anybody else in this fucking cesspit political system any fucking less. And maybe... A problem, a key issue in all of this is the fact that they built a boogeyman in the form of Trump so that they could get away with being just as corrupt every fucking where else. All the time. Like the live golf thing already has a fucking thing in there, but this doesn't. Biden's Saudi Arabian oil deals doesn't. Why? And maybe, because they're running cover for Biden, remember how they kept the new definition instead of the already accepted definition and blocked edits? Um, maybe Wikipedia running cover for Biden because it's actually a much smaller group of people who really run shit there, including one guy who's responsible for most of it. Maybe Wikipedia doesn't want to. And it's not a matter of they shouldn't or they can't, but they don't want to. Because including a little footnote, uh, you know, below the live golf thing, that Biden has been, like, hyperfunding them in, f in lieu of, of, of Russian oil, that would be fucking inconvenient to a specific kind of thing they wanted to convey, Right? So let me be super fucking specific here and say, this is bullshit. And then they go up here and they're like, oh, yeah, former Donald Trump officials. <sighs> yeah, we'll talk about Jared Kushner. 
Donald Trump's son-in-law. We'll talk about Jared Kushner and his billions that he got from the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund. We'll do that in our art article entry thing about their Sovereign Wealth Fund. But we won't reference in any sort of significant way Biden's support of them in our article about the Public Investment Fund, the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia. We won't do it because... Hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at all these fucking companies that support the uh, social media and media you like and entertain you and keep you focused on the screen. Don't look at all these that have gotten billions and millions from fucking Saudi Arabia. Don't look at any of fucking these! We'll keep you focused on our boogeyman. This is such a better way to democracy, to keep us focused on the boogeyman. And then ignore the fact that, hey, maybe part of the reason the military-industrial complex building a bunch of weapons for Saudi Arabia makes so much sense is because they fucking funded people like Boeing and other people in the military and fucking industrial complex. Maybe the problem is that there is a significant amount of overlap between people you like and people you claim to fucking hate, you goddamn hypocrites. Maybe that's why I'm a little bit angry, because I actually look into this stuff and find out that, hey, what are they doing in 2020 fucking too? Let's ask Mike Bloomberg's website, Mike Bloomberg, who gave $100 million to Biden, the people's president, who's allegedly supposed to be better than this. Right? What did they say about the wealth fund? Oh, shit! Don't look at this for too fucking long! Don't trend any of these businesses, right? These ones are fine! The Saudi uh, royal family is the richest royal family on the planet. Due partially to fucking petrodollar funds from Western dealing in the region, making sure that they become very wealthy and very influential. That's why they had no problem with BP, because, hey, that's how they make their money is oil. And that's how they kept it. And then they just started investing in the West so that they could profit off of their investment in oil. It's a big cycle, and your favorite fucking virtue-signaling company is in it, which is why during Pride Month, they don't put a rainbow flag on their Saudi Twitter account, do they?! Because they're actually not here for the cause, and they never fucking were. And they're just as fascist and bigoted as anyone you claim to hate. Because if they started to do that, then they would lose that money and that position in the global market. And we can't have that. Cash rules everything around me. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Right? But I guess it's only okay to bring it up when the boogeyman is in question here. And it's not okay to bring it up in any other circumstance or when your guy isn't former guy. So you better keep it that way and do whatever fucking corruption you can to make sure that he seems like a golden saint saying thanks, Biden, on social media, and keeping him nice and far down that throat. Try not to gag too much. 
This is my problem with the way things are. You're not allowed to talk about this. You're not allowed to talk about any of it. You just have to sit there and accept that you're being ruled by evil people and not talk about it too much as long as they're on your fucking team. But nobody is on your team if you're worth a damn in the ethical marketplace. So let's be clear. Supporting Biden doesn't make you a good person. Opposing Trump doesn't make you a good person. Virtue signaling about Saudi Arabia without being able to oppose all their investments because you love some of those or because you're not willing to think about some of those and ignoring it when your guy does it doesn't make you a good person. Opposing the whole system makes you a good person. So either learn to do that or get out of our fucking way while we try to smash the fucking state.